Well then, I eat me words. We only went and ripped up the script again. Am I shocked? No, I'm not. Because this club has bipolar. Like I said, we only went and ripped up the script again, didn't we? Am I shocked? Absolutely not. Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is my post-match analysis video of last night's sensational 1-0 win over league leaders Leicester City at the Den. Um, look, I'm not going to keep you here for long because, quite frankly, I'm still shocked. Um, the, the, this club are they're so difficult to support but that is why we love them um let's jump into the game it was weirdly it was an unchanged side from the embarrassing defeats up in yorkshire um after the gaffer said he was going to ring the changes after the gaffer said he was going to pick a team that were going to run through brick walls for him, he decided to stick instead of twist. And you know what? That was the right decision. That was the right decision because, boy, did them 11 players run through a brick wall for him. Um, and the question is, why can't we do it against Huddlefield? But we know the reason why. Um, let's jump into the game. We start like an absolute health on fire. We start like an absolute health on fire. Um, we win a free kick after about, I think it was a minute, um, which we win, seem to win them sort of free kicks in and around the opponent, opponent's box very, very well. Um, and we, just, we flood the box, we have we have free kick after free kick, we, we put the ball into the box so many times yesterday. Um, so yeah, look, we started well. We really, really did start well. And then uh, the leaders grew into the game, of course. They're going to do. They're going to do their, their Premier League side uh, with Premier League, uh, with, a, with an abundance, with an abundance of Premier League talent. So they're, they're, they're going to grow into the game. But I tell you what we did do. We didn't cow, we didn't cow our way. We stood up to everything the leaders threw at us yesterday. And we were absolutely brilliant to a man. Absolutely brilliant um, to every one of them. Every single one of them stood up to everything. Leicester threw at them. Our shape was phenomenal. <clears throat> um, we we pressed at the right times as well, which I thought was important because the the thing is with Leicester, if you press them in the wrong areas at the wrong time, they're just going to pop it around you and make you look stupid. But we didn't fall into that trap. We let them have the ball at the back. We let them keep keep circulating the ball at the back, and then we pick our right moment to to pounce. And boy, did we boy did we pounce yesterday. We pounced with a vengeance yesterday. We looked so so good going forward. All of a sudden, um, yesterday we looked we we looked like we had ideas going forward. Um, we took the game to Leicester. Of course, Leicester City had the ball. Leicester City had the ball, but I thought they were getting a little bit frustrated. Because we we stood up to absolutely everything Leicester City threw at us yesterday, um, we defended our box phenomenally well. It was like um, it was like their life depended on it, well, which they probably do, didn't they? Um, we defended our box superbly well. Fleming meeting everything in the box. Cooper meeting everything in the box. Tangango meeting everything in the box. Leonard just. What do you say about Leonard, mate? What do you say about Leonard? He's absolutely phenomenal. He's getting better with age. And he was, uh, yet again, immense yesterday. Billy Mitchell, immense. Saved us for three points. Um, later, clear one off the line in the last second of the game. But I'm going to get into the second half now because I thought we competed very well in the first half. I thought we allowed less to have the ball in the right areas, in areas that we knew we were under no threat with with them having the ball. If you get one coming from, I thought we 
we pressed in the right times. I thought we pressed with a bit of purpose yesterday. I thought we didn't press for no reason. I thought we saved our legs when we needed to. Um, we didn't change the ball too much. Um, I thought we looked comfortable. I thought we looked comfortable. I thought we had them at arm's length yesterday. Um, could we know the talent they got? Ian Acho, Daka, Vardy, Jubri Hall, Flipping in DD, Harry Winks, all on the park, all on the park. They couldn't, they couldn't really break us down, um, and that is down to our shape. That is down to how well we start to the game plan. Let's jump into the second half because this is where I thought we we switched and we looked a better side. We just took the game. It seemed like we took the game to Leicester um, yesterday. The crowd were phenomenal. The atmosphere was phenomenal and the players gave us something to go off and that's all they can do. If they give us something to go off, we're going to be there. Do you get what I'm coming from? Um, we were phenomenal in the first half. Floods were attacked. We looked, we, looked, um, we looked entertaining going forward. Um, and then we got our goal, didn't we? Our goal is a brilliant, brilliant goal. It's a superb goal. Goal of the season contender without a shadow of a doubt. Um, and it starts from the back, really, didn't it? It starts from the midfield. Um, Billy Mitchell involved. I think there was a, a, a few players involved. A cute little triangle. Feeds it to Billy Mitchell. Straight out on, uh, to the left-hand side for Ryan Longman. And Ryan Longman's drive, 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 drives to the edge of the box. Cuts inside and puts it in the stanchion. Um, it was a brilliant goal. Sends a den into delirium, and then from there, like I said in my full time reaction yesterday, it was backs against the wall. Of course, it was. It's going to be backs against the wall. They got a million pounds worth of talent, Jamie Vardy, and just to name a few other people. Um, and I thought we, I thought we defended so so well. I thought um, when we needed to, we we called on mates to help us out, double up. I thought our communication was good. Sarkic was good. Um, I thought I can't fault them. But the question is now. This is what annoys me. And this is what my my point that I'm going to leave this video on. Is we have to back it up. We have to back it up this Saturday against Cardiff City. If we play like that against Cardiff City this Saturday in SE16... We win the game. Simple as that. We win the game. So the challenge is that I'm going to give you is. Please. 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 Go and back it up. Because if you don't back it up. This Saturday. All that hard work is going to go to waste. Don't do it. Do you see what I'm coming from? Anyway. Um, I thought that he made the right substitutions at the right time. As a when he come on was. A little boy possessed, no disrespect, but he was a he was a boy possessed, wasn't he? He was an absolute animal, stuck to his game plan very well, fearless with the ball at his feet, asking asking opposition defenders questions, running at them, putting them on the back foot, and I thought you do if you run at people, they're gonna be on the back foot, mate, because no one likes when teams or players run at you, especially with the talent and speed and uh, ability that Romain Esley has. Um, I thought Lomman was good. Um, the only criticism I have is we should have made it to. We had a great opportunity to make it to through Michael Buffemi. Does superbly well. Spins up, screws up, but it spins up. Um, I think it was Vestergaard, and he just hits the he just hits the keeper. Yet again, if you pick your, if you pick your head up, pick a corner out, roll it into the goal. You tune you up, but I'm gonna let that one slide because you did work hard. Brayshaw did work hard when he come on. Um, we got we got to hear um, on news on Joel Tellerman because he went off injured, something to do with his shoulder. So hopefully it's not too bad. Um, a special mention to Joel Savile, Billy Mitchell, Ryan Leonard, and uh, um. Remain easy. They were all brilliant, but them few superb performances. I'm going to leave it here. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I will be back in the week for 
Cardiff City content. Well done, boys. Once again, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Come on, you lions.